it is Arika Misha and this morning we are doing a nice quick breakfast this morning we have some croissants got some nice big giant fluffy Publix croissants I have two packs of those there's two in each and I have two packs of Canadian bacon hickory smoke it's the center cut Canadian bacon love the Canadian bacon all right I've got two packs of those we got some eggs over here and we got some mozzarella cheese and we have some mild cheddar cheese so that's what our croissants are gonna consist of we're gonna have a nice fluffy buttered croissant with the egg and the Canadian bacon this is gonna be good let's go okay guys we are back I'm gonna go ahead as you can see I've got both of my pans on the oven I'm going to go ahead and cook my scrambled eggs here and then I'm going to go ahead and cook the Canadian bacon over there. That way you're cooking both at the same time. Nice, quick, easy breakfast. I got a little like a little tablespoon of butter in my pan just to help get my eggs cooked up. And this is a nice, quick, easy breakfast. You can do this in like 10 minutes because that's about all the time I got. But yeah. Quick, easy breakfast. Scramble your eggs um, and just cook your um, Canadian bacon over here. Not going to take long at all. Put a little butter over there. I didn't really want to put nothing over here in this pan. So let me get that Canadian bacon going over here. And see, all you're doing is just laying your Canadian bacon in here. Not going to take long at all for it to cook up not gonna take long at all let me get a paper plate I think I'll put a little napkin over my paper plate our butter is ready for our eggs Let's go ahead and get our eggs poured in all right get those going let's go let's get this breakfast done because we ain't got all day nice little quick breakfast for the family or for yourself whatever you want to do so, get that ready for my Canadian bacon over there. I might throw my eggs on that paper plate. I don't know. Let's see. It's not going to take long to cook at all. All right. We're going to get this done and over with. Let's see how our Canadian bacon doing on the other side. Let me get my fan on low. I love the smell of Canadian bacon. So good. See, it don't take long to cook these at all. And you don't want to cook them too long because they'll get all rubbery. Let me take y'all over here to the Canadian bacon because the eggs ain't really ready yet. See, they don't, they don't take long for that Canadian bacon to cook. Just let it brown a little bit on one side. Quick and easy. Brown on one side, brown on the other. Don't take long. I mean, because it's, it's pretty much in this the smoke, so it smells so good. Whole house smelling so good. It don't take long for them to pick it off. You just let them brown a little bit on each side. They already cooked for you. You're just pretty much warming them up. See? And let that cook up. That's it. We're going to take these out. Take those out. Sit those on our napkin. We'll get that next batch in there. Quick and easy. You can put a little butter in your pan. You can do that if you want. But it don't take them long to cook. And that's my non-stick pan. Let's go over here to our eggs. Try they over here showing out. Let's get the eggs cooked up real quick. Oh, that Canadian bacon smells so good. I'm going to turn my heat down on that Canadian bacon because it does not take much to cook that. Get these eggs cooked up. And y'all have seen me cook eggs a million times. So we just going to get these all nice and cooked up real quick. Stir those around. Give the eggs a few more minutes because they're not quite ready ready. 
So we'll give those a few more minutes and get this Canadian bacon taken care of. But we don't want to burn the Canadian bacon. Let's see if y'all can still see the bacon from here. Okay. All right. Let me go over here and get this bacon flipped over. <clears throat> Smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, it does. So good. Like I said, it don't take much to cook the uh, Canadian bacon. We cooked that first batch in like two minutes. Already cooked for you. It's already cooked for you. Quick, easy meal for the family. <laughs> Y'all like that for the family. And I put a little milk in my eggs. I'm sure y'all have seen me cook my eggs. I put a little bit of milk in them. Help them fluff up. Have nice fluffy eggs. And I like to, uh, I don't really scramble, scramble, scramble my eggs. I just kind of fold them. Just kind of fold them over. I don't really do the whole scrambling, scrambling, scrambling thing. That makes them all look all funny to me. I like my eggs to look nice and chunky. All right, let's go check on our Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon, does that mean it's from Canada? I don't know, y'all. Okay. Looking good over here, bacon. Looking good. All right. Give it a few minutes on that side. Ooh, y'all look at that Canadian bacon. Ooh, it looks so good. Ooh, wee. Looks so good. Mm -mm -mm. Let me bring it over so y'all can check it out. Ooh. That's that Canadian bacon. All right. Got the bacon out. Now, I think I got like two more pieces left. Two more pieces of the bacon to cook. So, we're going to throw that in. Let that cook real quick. Let's get our eggs done. We we'll want to burn our eggs. Oh, yeah. See? I like for my eggs to look just like that underneath. Let me show y'all. Ooh, wee. Nice and brown. Oh, yes. I love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Go ahead and cut my stove off. Because my eggs are pretty much done. We're just going to toss them around a little bit. I love how my eggs get that brown underneath. And then I just flip it over once it gets nice and toasty brown underneath there. Get our Canadian bacon flipped over. I love how this Canadian bacon only takes like two seconds to cook. Does not take long at all. Got our nice chunky eggs. That's it, y'all. I done cut the stove off. I done cut the stove off on the eggs. Because they done. Cut the stove off on this Canadian bacon. Because it's done over there. My stove wiped off. I always wipe my stove off as I clean. I mean, as I cook. <laughs> I always wipe the stove off. Always clean my stove as I cook. All right. Okay. That's it for our Canadian bacon. That's it for the bacon. Oh, yeah. Delicious. All right, y'all. Let's move our eggs. So the eggs don't burn. Move our eggs. Get our stove wiped off. I cannot stand a dirty stove. Sorry, y'all know I'm a little OCD. I do not like dirty anything. All right, let me show y'all the finishing results we've got our canadian bacon let me bring y'all out hold on y'all okay we got our see how quick we did that y'all quick 
Got our nice golden brown scrambled eggs. Let me bring them in for y'all. Ooh, look at those eggs. Nice and golden brown. I'm telling you, my kitchen like gets on my nerves sometimes. It really does. Let me take y'all in. Show y'all that Canadian bacon. That's a Jamaican accent, not Canadian. Whatever, y'all. Canadian bacon. It looks so good. Only took us like two minutes to cook it. All together, like three minutes. And then I gotta show y'all the eggs. Gotta take y'all into my golden brown eggs. All right, y'all. That was quick and easy. This video only took, what, 10 minutes? All right, guys. Y'all seen me do it? So you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.